Alright guys, virtual reality has literally changed my life. After three years of some of the newest and most exciting game mechanics and experiences, Sony is now gearing up for their second iteration of the new medium after they release PS5. I think you still need to pick up a Gen 1 headset as soon as possible, since there's a ton of time left to play amazing games like Astrobot, Resident Evil 7, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, and many more. But today, I'm going to be sharing everything I know about the current state of PSVR 2. Before we get started, you need to know that they are still in the prototype testing phase, so some of this information may be subject to change, but this is where it's at right now. So without further ado, let's begin. One of the things that gets praised the most is the comfort of PSVR, especially when compared to other headsets. The patented HMD design takes inspiration from head massagers and has the perfect weight distribution for core gamers like myself who love to spend upward of 10 plus hours of gaming. While I wouldn't expect something along the lines of sunglasses or a nanotech powered visor, it's going to feature a lighter, less bulky headset as well as have a wider field of view. There are currently a few different models being tested, some having different features from the other being added or removed. While we don't know if this means they are planning on multiple versions of the headset or just haven't figured out which one to go with yet, we do know that both wireless as well as wired are being supported. I think ideally we'd like to see a hybrid model with increased performance when plugged in, and I'd imagine a Type-C being powerful and fast enough to get this job done. Needless to say, if it can be connected or disconnected, that would be huge. The upcoming headset will also support HDR, or High Dynamic Range. What this does is increase the quality of an image by adding more contrast, brightness, and color. This is a feature that became pretty popular around the launch of the PS4 Pro, and users needed a proper TV with HDR support to really get the most out of the effects. Luckily, if this ends up being just one headset, you won't have to spend countless hours sifting through different models to find true HDR, but rather, it all comes packed and ready to go in every device purchased. One of the most requested features is without a doubt wireless capabilities. While it provides a better experience for wider tracking, which you should also expect to be greatly improved, it also results in lower graphical capabilities, but at a minimum of 2K resolution as well as 120 frames per second possible, this means that being combined with full 360 movement could make for some smooth, immersive freedom and solid power to boot. While the freedom of wireless sounds great, more speed and power is really what I'm after. After all, I not only want to be immersed by these worlds, but for them to look as luxurious as possible. And plugged in, the headset can run a whopping 2160p. Now, for the possibility of 4K VR, the PS5 would have to at least be able to sport 8K. Luckily, although we are likely several years out from this becoming a standard, it has already been confirmed that the PS5 can output up to 8K at 4320p resolution. So as long as the hardware can support it, 4K VR gaming could be on the horizon for PSVR. But regardless, it's gonna look substantially better. Well, that's it for now guys. While it seems there are still some details and features to be finalized, these are the ones I know about. I believe Sony is also going to hold out as long as they possibly can until they're able to release it at the best possible price, because from the sound of it right now, it would be far too expensive to launch with the PS5. However, I do expect we'll be getting the first details hopefully no later than early 2021. Be sure to let me know which of these features you're looking forward to the most, as well as what you hope to see in the future. It's pretty exciting times knowing that we're getting closer and closer to the next PSVR headset. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.